Well, in just four days, New York will see its first total solar eclipse in 50 years. Now, much of the northwestern part of the state will be in complete darkness, and about 90% of the sun will be blocked out in our area. Very exciting. And one of the top places to watch this rare event will be Niagara Falls. One million tourists are expected, and NASA is going to be there, too. Joining us now is David Cheney, Program Executive at the Space Agency. David, thank you so much for joining us. I'm happy to be here. There's so much excitement around this, so much so that Niagara has actually declared a state of emergency because of all the <laughs> tourists who are anticipated to uh, go there and, and watch this. And so just walk us through what spectators can expect because at some point the sky turns like gray and it becomes eerie. What, what are we going to see? Well, I got to, I got to see the uh, total eclipse in 2017 and uh, you know, the, the temperatures will start to drop a little bit because the sun's being blocked. Um, you know, my wife noticed that uh, the colors were muted. So, uh -huh. you know, things just weren't very vibrant in color. Um, I think that everybody notices different things. I noticed the last time during the annual eclipse in October that the, my shadows, my, my personal shadows were really weird oh, in shape. And, and really weird so in shape. I think there's a lot of different <laughs> cool things to be able to notice if you're outside watching. Sounds apocalyptic. I know, I, that's quite ways. interesting. Okay, well, you are, you're working in a pretty hot field studying the sun. <laughs> um, obviously for us, it's something cool to watch, but what are you excited to see? Maybe there's some scientific stuff behind this that we don't really even pay attention to. Well, NASA is going to be doing some specific uh, measurements during the eclipse. We're going to be launching three uh, sounding rockets that are putting instruments above the ionosphere, so up, up, up really high in the atmosphere, to take measurements and understand how the sun and the and the sunlight is a interacting with our atmosphere, um, and and to be able to better understand that. What are some of the biggest unresolved questions about the sun that you hope to answer during this, I guess, what is it, a three minute period of time? I, I don't know that we can solve any of those big un, uh, unresolved <laughs> questions during We're this total solar eclipses. eclipse. Uh, yeah, we, we would need a lot more. We, you know, we build a lot of instruments specifically so we could uh, take more measurements regularly with the sun. Interesting. Um, we th we've we're solved a lot of problems in the past, but I don't know that we'll solve any of those during this time. As long as you solve the problem of how to, you know, correctly and safely look at this, mm -hmm. what, what are the steps for that? Well, the, the most important step is to have solar eclipse glasses that are certified. Um, you know, any other kind of uh, eye protection is not going to be sufficient for watching the sun. When you get to totality, though, you take the sunglasses, take the glasses off. This is the opportunity to see the atmosphere of the sun, which is called the corona. This is one of the, one of the few opportunities we will get, get to use our eyes to, uh, to just look at the corona. And so that's, that's that'll be really cool. That's where, you know, it's exactly the sun and the moon are, are aligned and you can see the outer ring. That's when you can take the glasses off and actually look. I hadn't heard that. Yeah, so during that during the time of totality, you can take the glasses off. This is the time you'll actually see. So if you if you leave the glasses on during totality, you don't get to see the corona. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the time to take the glasses off. You'll actually be able to see the corona, the shape of the atmosphere of the sun. That'll oh. be really cool for a lot of people. That's something I hadn't really thought of the last time I was mm -hmm. watching a total eclipse. And uh, so I'm really interested to be able to watch that and see what that looks like for me. Yeah. Great I'm advice. This. Yeah, absolutely. All right. We hope. Let's we... talk about Corona too. It got me excited for a beer. <laughs> beer, and hopefully we learn more about the sun as well. David, thank you so much for your time.